hello students so with in the present class we'll discuss about the different terminology terminologies which are used in the aerial photogrammetry different rather different parts of the aerial photogrammetry and the scale of the photograph okay so in the uh, scale of the tilted photograph we'll be uh, seeing uh, with respect to the present class in the previous classes we have discussed about different types of photograph and uh, how it has been done okay uh, the basic idea i have given and in the present class we'll discuss more about the technical part that is parts of the photograph and the scale of the photograph so in the previous class we discussed about the different types of photograph vertical photograph tilted photograph oblique photograph and all this now we'll go further and we'll understand what are the terminologies which are related to the inclined photograph or we may say with a tilted photograph with the help of tilted photograph so these are the i'll say these are the terminologies with respect to the tilted photo with respect to the tilted photos okay so in this the first important which we should understand is this area uh, this area which is called as the prospective projection this area is called as prospective projection or this is nothing but your photograph this is nothing but your photograph on which everything will get printed everything will get printed now i'll say that my aircraft is at this location which is denoted o and i'll make a line i'll make a line in which the my aircraft is moving again the previous aircraft will repeat this is my aircraft now it is something looking like fish again okay this aircraft is moving this line is called as flight line a line along which the aircraft is moving is called as a flight line and the position of the camera or the position of the lens is denoted as point o okay which is called as the uh, the the point of projection it's called as a point of projection okay then there is one more concept imagine this is my if i say this is my aircraft here is my camera which is denoted as point o then this entire height with the help of msl mean sea level with respect to mean sea level sea level is denoted as h which is called as flying height which is called as flying height it's called as flying height okay this is denoted as with capital h okay this is going to be denoted as capital capital h which is called as flight height then there is another point which is important called as focal length next point is called as focal length the focal length is nothing but a distance which is measured again in centimeter every every lens has got its own focal length there is a distance between the point o till the point k the point k is called as the principal point the point k is called as the principal point this is the for a photograph as i said these are geo referenced images these are nothing but geo every photograph is geo referenced the meaning of geo referenced is they have latitude as well as longitude they have latitude as well as longitude this latitude longitude are here denoted as x and y denoted as x one x and y so here this is my x this is my negative y sorry this is my y this is my x this is my positive x 
okay so as with respect to cartesian coordinate system this naming has a given and they meet at this point this point is called as the principal point this point is called as principal point as denoted as the point k the point of intersection point of intersection on the the prospective projection or a photograph where x and y lines join is called as the point of k this is called as a prospective or the principal point is called as principal point and the distance between this o to k distance between this o to k is denoted as f which is nothing but the focal length which is denoted as f which is nothing but the focal length okay then the next comes there is one more point now this is my point o if i drop a plumb line if i drop a plumb line here i'll say this is my plumb line okay this is my plumb line then this point will fall at at this at this location this point will fall at this location which may be different from if it is <coughs> if it is exactly uh, vertical if it is exactly vertical photograph then this point and the principal point is might be at the same that might be at the center but this is a tilted photograph they are a bit tilted okay they are not exactly horizontal imagine this is my point o now if i drop a exact perpendicular then this will meet at this location i'll denote it as a k okay and in case in case if it is exactly vertical what will happen it will again drop at the same location this will again drop at the same location okay so in case of exactly tilted photograph the point n this is this is denoted as a point n which is called as a nadir point it's called as the nadir point denoted as n nadir point if it is exactly vertical photograph this k and n are at the same location k are n at the same location because because it is exactly vertical but here what is happening this is bit tilted photograph because of which what will happen my point o is over here then this inclined or so called principal point as this and the plumb point which is called as nadir point is at the different location which can be denoted at this location okay this point is called as nadir point same way this has been continued at the bottom and this is fall on the ground fall on the ground which is called as ground nadir point when it's fall on the ground it's called as ground nadir point it's called as a ground nadir point denoted as n same way same way if this is my principal point if i extend the same line if i extend the same line and when it falls in the ground is called as ground principal point is also called as ground principal point so this is capital n is denoted as ground nadir point this is denoted as ground principal point okay so this this is the three terminologies next point next point is if if i measure this angle if i measure this angle this is called as tilt of the photograph this is called as tilt of the photograph in case of vertical photograph what will happen there is no tilt so there will not be any angle do you know there, there will not be any angle but here they are forming an angle the nadir point and the principal point is forming some angle that angle is called as the tilt angle this point is called as tilt angle okay so denoted as the t denoted as t when i denote that as a t this is called as tilt angle sorry then then there is one more line there is one more line or which joins i'll take a different color uh, i'll take yellow and i'll explain now so now if i join this if i join this point 
that forms a line that forms a line here in this diagram which i had drawn here i am joining these two points i am joining these two points this point is called as the principal line this line is called as the principal line while this plane the plane which is being formed by angle o or i'll denote sorry this plane whichever is formed this entire plane is formed is called as the principal plane this is a plane which is formed as the principal plane and this line is called as principal line this line is called as the principal line okay then i'll just delete this uh, so that you can clearly see then there is one more point this is one more point this is there is a line which bisects this angle o n and k this is a line which is shown in the dotted form this is a line which bisects the uh, triangle o n and k or i say it bisects the tilt angle in two like the two equal halves okay i'll denote that as t by 2 and denote that as t by 2 and this t by 2 is called as isocenter that falls over here that falls in the point and denoted as i that denoted as i is called as isocenter i'll say i iso center i is the isocenter which bisects the tilt angle is called as isocenter okay then there is one more point called as swing this is one more point is called as swing the it is nothing but the swing is nothing but the uh, the this angle which is measured from the point y or the x axis is called as the swing this is called as the swing this talks about the shifting of the principal line shifting of the principal points okay so these are the terminologies which we use these are the terminologies which we use in case of the vertical photo uh, the tilted photograph okay so you understood the main points are the prospective projection perspective projection then comes the principal point nadir point ground principal point principal point nadir point ground nadir point ground principal point okay then this is the distance between o to k this is called as the uh, point of the lens or the this distance from o to k is denoted as f is called as focal length focal length this is then the angle measured between o n and k is called as tilt tilt angle t okay so these are the few important points which you need to understand this is again important question with respect to your exams also with respect to your exams also then let us have a look at a video which will talk about the similar points in a, a very deep manner this distance is nothing but a swath for example okay so let us say this is my camera assembly okay so this is my flying height h right so this is my negative image plane and this is my exposure center where all the rays from the terrain are going to meet and they are going to again diverge towards the image plane so this is the optical axis here shown here fine so this is the focal length as you know already from last lecture right so this is the way all the rays are converging to the perspective center and again they are diverging to the image plane 
So, and they are creating an ima impression on the sensor or the image plane or we can say negative plane. Now, since negative and positives are no more a valid term, but still in the books these things are given and still we are going to use these in order to distinguish between a negative plane that is a sensor plane or the image plane which is a positive plane which we really see because as we know that negative plane image is an inverted image and that we cannot work with and that is why we need a positive image. So, this is my positive image here right shown by here and which is also located at a distance called focal length from perspective center. So, that is the overall idea you have and you should develop this idea first. That means, what is the mechanism of data acquisition for a given one exposure of the frame camera. Okay. So, that is my swath as I already told. Well, what about this distance? This is also called the swath, but swath along the flight direction. So, this is the swath, what we call swath is my swath across the flight direction and generally we do not write across the flight direction. We rather only write the swath. So, this is called swath, the whole term. So, whenever you want to specify this swath which is along direction, you have to specify like that. Okay. So, now I can write that swath is equal to 2 h tangent of theta x by 2 because the across the flight we have theta x is my field of view, total field of view, it is very simple relationship you can find out. Now, we will see about the scale of scale of the photos which is a uh, important part in case of uh, the aerial photogrammetry or the vertical photographs. So, we will be talking about this scale in case of vertical photograph as well as the tilted photograph. So, what do you mean by the scale? The scale is nothing but actually it is measured as the map distance divided by the ground distance, map distance by the ground distance. So, if, if, if uh, there is something, if I, if I say 1 is to 10 as my scale, 1 is to 10 on the scale. So, if 1 unit on the map is equals to 10 units on the ground, this is the meaning of 1 is to 10, this is called as a scale. Okay, so, it can be a centimeter or meter or kilometer. I will say 1 centimeter is equals to 10 kilometer. If I say, then this indicates that if I measure 1 centimeter distance on the map, then that will measure as 10 centimeter on the ground. This is the meaning of the scale of the program. Now, let us see the first image where uh, what I had done. Here is for easiness, I have already drawn the image. So, this is my point O. This will be my, my, my point O. This is the perspective projection. This is, I will denote it as K principal point. Then, here the actual image which has been captured. This is my ground level. This is my ground level. I will say as GL ground level. Okay. So, this is this point which is on the ground is been presented here. Okay. So, that point is coming at this location. I will name this point as point A on the ground. I will name it as uh, the capital A and here on the, this is the datum line. This is the datum line. So, I will that name as A naught here. Okay. And this is the datum line point. So, here on the photograph, I will name it as O naught. Okay. This point on the ground, I will name it as capital K. The ground will name it as capital K. While the distance OK, as we discussed in the uh, scale photographs, this distance is nothing but the focal length denoted as F. Okay. While this distance is nothing but the height of the object. 
vertical height of the object that is h and this distance from o to be, uh, datum okay this is denoted as h which is nothing but the flying height while this distance will be become h minus small h h minus small h this will be the distance okay now let us say what is the scale of the photograph so already written map distance by the ground distance in this case in this case if i say my s is equals to map distance is the distance just yeah, change the color so that you will understand in a better way okay so this distance a to k i'll name this this is a map distance so i'll name this as k a divided by the ground distance nothing but capital k -A. from the similar triangle what i'll do is uh, because i know the values of i can easily get the values of focal length height of the object and this part so i'll consider this triangle o i'll consider this triangle o k and a for map distance o k and a for the ground distance so from a similar triangle i'll plot this as o k divided by the again this o capital k okay so this what is meant by o this is ok is nothing but f and this is nothing but your h minus h so where f is nothing but focal length then h is nothing but your height flying height my flying height and this edge is nothing but my height of the object if i know all these points i'll be able to find out the scale of the photograph i'll be able to find out the scale of the photograph now let us uh, check what if i have the two points instead of one i have a two points what will we'll, we'll check in the next uh, slide okay now we'll see what will happen if we have two points okay so let us consider two points i'll say uh, this is our prospective projection this, this line is a prospective position this is the point of flying height okay and uh, then i have two points i'll name them as point a and this will become my point b same way when they plot over a prospective projection they will become b small a and small a same way the datum scale i'll name this a naught i'll name this principal point as k naught this i'll name it as b naught okay and this is my point k this is the principal point point k with respect to that this will become k b this will become k a this is nothing but the height of the object this is nothing but the height of the object so the distance from here till here this is my ground this is again a ground okay the distance from this distance is denoted as h same way say this distance is denoted i'll say as h I'll denote this as H A height of the object A. Same way, this I'll denote as H B. This entire distance from the point at the lens point or the point O 
is this is denoted as capital H. Now this distance from the O point till the height of the object will become H minus H A. Same way this will become sorry this will become H B. This will become H B and this will become H minus H A. Now again I will apply the same formula of scale. So the scale is equals to map distance divided by ground distance so now we'll find out the scale for point a as well as for point b okay so point a when i consider this point point a when i consider here the map distance is nothing but a k and the ground distance will become a k a ground distance will become a k again i will consider the uh, so called uh, similar triangle formula so a k will i can write down as o k and a k i can write down as a k i can write down as o k as we know OK is nothing but F and OK this distance is nothing but H minus H minus H A. Similarly, for point B also we will try to find out what will be the distance. So map distance is nothing but here K B. I'll write down as B K and the ground distance will become B K A. B K A. So again similar triangle formula I'll apply. Okay. I'll say this B K is as O K and B K A is nothing but the O. This will become B O K B. So again I can write down F minus H minus H B. So overall from both of these I can understand that the scale of the photograph can be calculated as F minus H minus H where F is nothing but the Focal length this H capital H is nothing but the flying height and this Z is small h is nothing but the height of of the object okay so now this is the overall height now I can write down this scale for the datum also let us try what will be the datum scale so here instead of k I will directly talking about a uh, I'll be directly talking about the datum. So I'll find out only for A. So the map distance AK and the ground distance will be A naught K naught. So again I'll take a similar triangle OK divided by OK naught. OK is nothing but F and OK naught 
will become h so the datum scale uh, i'll write down as s datum can be find out by f minus h can be find out by f minus h this formula we can use to find out the datum scale now imagine if you have the points like uh, instead of only one a and b i have a point like i have a point like c i have a point like d i have e here then f g h i j you mean that i have too many points over here but at this moment i can't find out for every uh, individual okay instead what you can do is you can measure the heights of this a b uh, a b c d f g h i uh, then you can find out the scale as every scale that is f by h minus h average this will become the scale of the photograph that is average now what will what will you do if you have a uh, map as well as the uh, the the image you have a map as well as image at that case you can find out the scale of the photograph as uh, scale is equals to map distance uh, sorry photo scale divided by map scale same way the photo distance divided by map distance so remember these formulas by this will be solving few of the problems we will be solving few of the problems in the next few classes okay so this is with respect to the scale of the vertical photograph i repeat here this is with respect to the scale of vertical photograph so if the question appears in exam write down the scale of the vertical photograph you have to write down both of this okay so this is for the today we'll end it here and uh, we'll take the scale of the inclined photograph in the next class for uh, more such videos on the advanced serving subject you can uh, go to our youtube channel you can like this video you can subscribe to our channel and share among your friends so that everyone will get benefited out of it thank you